Don't be crying for water later. It is 8.15. Yeah. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of August. Come on, backseat. And Bryce and I are going to Yellowstone. So here's Bryce. I've known Bryce for several years. Hello, how you doing? He used to live full time in a camper and then he went and bought some property, but we're camping now. And we're just outside Yellowstone National Park. We're going to check out the park. Oh, I got, oh, I have my pass. I have my pass, I have something to drink. I have my sunglasses. We should be all set. Let's see what this park's all about. They're gonna think that I don't take care of my kids when they see you, Savannah. They would be right. Get hey, your first visit? Uh, I've been here 20 years ago. Okay, well, can I get a map? Back. Can I get a map, please? And you have a great map on the back page with road construction and closure information. Make sure you look this one over. I'm gonna give you some pet information, do's and don'ts when you have a dog with you. We got leashes. Alrighty, that's good. There you go. Thank you, thank dear. You. Thank you for for working here. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure. I think if you pull off, you're gonna have trouble getting back in. Yeah, this may probably let us in. Those overlooks are really only. Well, that's a pretty nice vista right there. Check that out. You need to roll your window down? Mm, I will. In a I just wanted to, anybody watching at home to see this map. This is what we have going. We're coming in on West Yellowstone and we're gonna come to this Madison T and take a right and then head down to Lower Glacier Basin, Upper Glacier, Glacier Basin, uh, and then Old Faithful. And I don't really know, there's your 10 miles for your legend. So maybe it's 10 miles past the turn. Anyway, this is the lay of the land. We're just going to see how far we get. We're not going to be in a big rush to hit anything. I've I've never really been in here other than when I did that video of, of um, Excelsior. All right, just wanted to show you guys the map. It's our first buffalo of the day. The more I zoom, the harder it's going to be to hold the camera still driving. But there he is. We'll get back. We'll get a closer look when we get up on them so the camera's not so shaky anyway it looks pretty beautiful this is wyoming we're at uh old faithful and there's a store there's a restaurant there's you know it's kind of a destination point and uh i didn't get as much sleep as I probably would have wanted last night, so I asked Bryce if he would pull in here so I could uh, get myself something with a little caffeine jolt going for it. So that's what we're doing. He's going to fix up the back of his rig so the dogs can be in the shade. I'll show you. And then there's a rig over here I want to show you too. You probably like this. I like it. So he's setting up, he's got his little accordion style. Step stool going. And okay, doggies. Just gonna put this uh, together for the pooches. While he's doing that, I'll go over and show you this rig that I like. We can, Savannah will come too. I'll I'm gonna put up. him. I'm gonna put him in the crate. Savannah. Okay. Savannah, come on. One thing about Savannah is she listens pretty good. Okay, Savannah, up. Get in there. Savannah, get in there. Come on. Come here. Get in there. Up. Up. That's what I'm talking about right there. Definitely European. They don't make stuff like that in the United States. That thing's probably about a mil. You know what? It could be. I bet it's close. It's nice. At least 500,000. It's, it's got, what are those license plates? Is that like Germany or something? See Ryzen, that's like German. Yeah. So it's some kind of German machine. It's 
got the big old light lamps. I got a cracked windshield. Look, the windshield all got hit by a rock. It's all cracked. Yeah. Got tape on it. He's got screens over his headlights, but there's no scratches on his paint. So I can't give him too much street cred for taking this out in places where it'll get scratched. Yeah, the sides aren't even scratched. Those tires are monsters. But it's a nice rig. Yeah. It's got the nice angle to it, so you can go up grades. Pretty steep. Points of compass.de. Yep, you could sign me up for one of those and I wouldn't complain too much. Very nice. All right. Well, yeah, we're just down the road. We can always come back and go around some other stuff. Right here is Geyser Grill. Just want to show you that Geyser Grill. And it's. 10, 10, so it's a reasonably early start on the day. Yeah. Still brisk in the air. It's plenty cool enough in the camper for the dog. Yeah, it's plenty cool enough for the dog. Plus, I mean, if we were back at camp, they'd be just sitting in the camper at back at camp. Yeah. Under the same sun. Well, inside the campers, I, I got the, I got it all shaded in there. I got my, my uh, Reflectix up and it's all shaded. So the dogs are nice. So here we go. Here we go, grocery and sporting goods. Yellowstone General Store, groceries and sporting goods. Let's see if we can get something going here. Let's turn the camera off. That's what it looks like anyway. We're a couple. But I gave it, but now I'm okay with it. He, gives, he, gives, he puts them up when he wants to. Sweet. But he says you can pull oh, away. Dog. I love door when people are afraid of them. Do you, you remember being here, Grandma? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. sick to you like glue. Crazy how nice, yeah. I got a little pound puppy right now. It's like 14 pounds. He's a chug, like Chihuahua and Pug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here at Old Faithful, it's gonna probably go off in about five minutes, according to the little. Uh, schedule so everybody's gathering in about 20 minutes ago this was almost empty and so i imagine it's going to do its thing and then people are going to clear out mm, it might look like he's even getting a little more aggressive could be getting ready oh, awesome out that water what the temperature is? I'd have to look it up my It's a, a volcanic eruption and there's yep. aquifers in the water, is that yep. what's going on? Yep. Underground right. water going in. Hooking up with the volcanoes. I bet you in a couple of years all this wood's replaced. Yeah, you have I old people, the whole old people? It looks like a nice hot tub. That's what I said too. Yeah. It looks like you could jump down and yeah, swim under and come up in another world uh -huh. uh, with like munchkins and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, what type of I like it. Look, like there's like a little hole down in there. So yeah, that's where the gold is. That's where it's at? Yep. 
Well, why don't you take a picture? All the treasure. I think a tourist might have fallen into this one. It's got some good trust in it. Is it? Was there? Oh, look, there's algae. You know, there's got to be some dude that's like half sled walking over here and like, see this? Footsteps. Yeah, it does. Oh, look, this one's going a little bit. Putting a show on. Yeah, it's like algae. I just have no idea if this is healthy or unhealthy. I bet it's super something, super healthy or super un super unhealthy. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. So this is like the, in the same family as hot springs, right? <sighs> I think it's cleaning up my sinuses a little bit. I like it. Feels warm. Yeah. Make sure I'm in the shot. Here we are at the Solitary Geyser. The uh, Solitary Geyser. In 1915, <laughs> we did not understand geysers very well. Why not tap water from this hot spring and put it to use? So a pipe lowered the water level three feet. A calm spring immediately became a geyser erupting every few minutes, although the pipe was removed and the former water level restored. The guy that did it was fired. Uh, let's see, geyser activity continues. We learned again that a delicate balance once tampered with often cannot be restored. How do we put that into our own lives? Sometimes if you get the Ravos, Rancheros, it takes a long time to restore your... That's what the geyser has to say about that. Throwing coins, rocks, and other objects in the pool is illegal. Just in case you were wondering. So these all have to be interconnected, right? Must be. To the to the old faithful and the ones yeah. down there? Yep. What would you imagine it would be like if you were riding through on a horse a couple hundred years ago and you stumbled upon this? I mean, my first instinct would be to put my toes in it and see if it was of a temperature that you could get clean because you probably had gone days without. And then plus, if you did get in the water, it was a cold river, like snow runoff. So this would be something that would be welcomed, I would imagine. Park your camper right there. Hop in your hot spring whenever you want. That's a wrap. <laughs>